Coach, yeah, I just wanted to say it's a real honor to... Why don't you put the phone away and dump the food? This isn't daycare. We're here to work. Yes, sir. Now, there's not a lot of film on you, so I want to start by looking at your the footage of your final college game. I need you to focus. Yes, sir, Coach. All right, looks like you got Cruz in the slot here. Why'd you force the ball to him? I, I thought he was open. No, you thought he was open or you saw he was open? Because I can see your eyes. Looks like you're throwing blind over the middle. Well, I mean, well Colt's always a safe bet, so... Yeah, well, there's no such thing as always a safe bet. I don't care if Antonio Brown's running the routes. Why not take the sack? I don't know. I just wanted to make a play. Yeah, well, you did for the other team. Down 21 in the downpour on the wrong side of the field. What, what's the upside you complete that pass? A seven yard gain? Yeah, I, I guess so. Well, seven picks in three and a half games. There's no guessing, Devin. The tape always tells the story. Yes, sir. Now, we're going to start from zero. You haven't taken a snap in three and a half years. We're going to find out what our base is, and we can advance as quickly as you are capable. Got it? Yeah. So am I right in assuming that you know defensive and offensive formations since you played high school football in Texas? Of course. You sure? Let's find out. Now, what formation is that offense in? It's I form? Well, I didn't expect that. Looks like we have a lot more work to do. Now, where's the safety in this formation? There. Nope. That is definitely not the safety. Not even close. Yeah. I've seen enough for this morning. Let's meet back up this afternoon on the practice field. Okay, now that we've spent some time identifying matchups, let's apply that to the field. And we'll do that by calling a play, and then we'll take a closer look at the matchups we can exploit. Wait, we're, we're calling plays? I've never done that before. UT, the coach, just held up little pictures on the sideline telling me what to do. Same idea. Except in the NFL, it's more involved. Think of it as a recipe for an entire offense. One word gives you the formation to line up in. Another one tells a receiver which route to run. It's as simple as that. OK, that doesn't seem so hard. Well, where it gets hard is when these play names become long and complicated. So I'm going to give you a play, and I want you to repeat it back to me in the same way that you would deliver it in the huddle during a game. Okay, ready? Let's go with I pro bench. X out. Z post. Y option. Wait, what? Hold on. It's easy. Start with the first word that's usually the formation in most systems. I pro. Good. The next part is usually the name of the play concept. This tells everyone what their responsibilities are. The line, tight end, etc. Bench. Right. That tells everybody what to do. X out. Right. That tells that receiver to run an out route. Z post. Z post is correct. What does that mean? Right side receiver runs a post? Good. Typically, the receivers on a play are labeled X, Y, and Z. X is on the left, Z is on the right, and Y lines up somewhere in between them. OK. Last one. Y option. Great. 
You just called your first play. Hopefully it won't be your last. <laughs> I wasn't trying to be funny, Wade. You have to get this stuff down or you have no shot after this show. Focus. Okay, coach. Thanks. You wanted to see me? Yeah. Somehow you've managed to take all the excitement out of America's most exhilarating game. I've got five cameramen filming a guy reading diagrams. They're formations. They probably are. Walk with me, Jack. Hello. It's time to take the training wheels off. Training wheels, we just got started. Devin's gonna be playing a full-blown game on live television. 32 scouts, 100 NFL teams will be there, a media blitz. It'll be the biggest live TV event since Neil Armstrong landed on the moon! When? I think it was 1969. No, I meant the full-blown game. We're still talking about that? It's in two weeks. Against who? That's the best part. <laughs> no, I want it to be a surprise. He's not ready. You're setting this kid up to fail. Ah, you'll figure it out. And if you don't, you'll never work again, Jack. Yeah, but two weeks? You know, when you said we were starting at zero, I didn't realize we would be suddenly going 100 miles an hour. All right, well, neither did I. I guess I'll be ready. Look, Devin, it's important to... Look, every challenge that we are presented with is an opportunity. Yeah. Jack? Devin, how could you not tell me how crazy amazing this place is, man? <laughs> Wait, Cole, what are you doing here? Oh, she came down to Mathis last night and signed me up. Guess they didn't see the point of keeping the real star of this show off camera anymore. Oh, <laughs> what about the regional combine? Oh, man, what's good for you is good for me. Colt will help you get up to speed, and he can play with you in the game. Well, I'm glad you're here, man. <laughs> of course. Holy smokes. The honest-to-goodness Jack Ford. <laughs> if you could put the phone away. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> I will leave you three to it. <laughs> he has got the hat and everything. <laughs> Take a seat. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. <clears throat> All right. I was just telling Devin here that we've got two weeks. Yeah, which is crazy. Which is reality. And we're going to approach this like we're on a bye week. So I'm going to give you a first-hand look on what it's like for an NFL quarterback to prepare for an opponent. Hate to interrupt Blue's Clues, but if you could put down your crayons. Who's he? Uh, <laughs> Colton Cruz, Mr. Fountain. Devin's best friend. We met at the combine. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> Full heart, bad hands, can lose. <laughs> you know that game you guys are gonna be playing? A couple guys you never heard of uh, just signed on. Dwight Freeney and Lamar Woodley. The ratings are gonna be through the roof! <laughs> yeah, I just talked to the old lammer myself. He said after having a year off, uh, he's in great shape and really looking forward to punishing quarterbacks. Don't worry, we're gonna smoke these guys. <laughs> but it, you know, it shouldn't be a problem for uh, Devin, you know, with all the reading that you guys have been doing. If you're finished, we're gonna get back to work. Okay, okay, going. Hmm. Let's get to work. We're gonna be ready. Okay, Devin, I feel like we made some strides early, but things started to fall apart when we got to the matchups and the adjustments you need to make. It's just so much being thrown at me at once. I mean, one minute I'm calling plays, the next I got five seconds to look up every matchup on the field. I, I can't do it. I... Yes, you can. Hey, listen, I'm here, buddy. I'm gonna help old Jack here figure out a way to get through to you. 
<laughs> Whenever I ever let you down. Yeah. All right, let's go back to matchups. And this time we're gonna factor in down and distance, which you admittedly struggled with at UT. Yeah. All right, second and one at midfield, tied in the fourth quarter. What's the defense expect us to do here? Run the ball. Yeah, simple, right? Second and short after a nice game, they're expecting us to run the ball, pick up the first down, keep the drive going. So now that we know that they're expecting us to run, what can we do to exploit that? Throw, throw a pass. Are you sure? Yeah, it'd be the perfect time to hit him with a play-action pass. Yeah, see, you line up in a formation that teams run out of all the time, so the defense won't be expecting it. You can fake the run, hit him for a big gain on that pass play. Okay. See, your key here is the safety. Yes, no? I... Oh, I got this easy. Right there. No. Oh. No. Okay, Dev, is this Sky or Buzz? Sky or Buzz, Dev? Oh, I don't know. Look, I don't, I don't even know what I'm supposed to know. Because you're... You just do, Dev. Come on. I, uh, I gotta go. Well, I thought we were going to dinner. We'll get it tomorrow. Man. I don't freaking know. That doesn't even make any sense. Hey, Coach. Coach, I'm, I'm sorry to bother you. Uh, do you have a second? Yeah, go on. Well, I was reading about Cam Newton. In his rookie season, the Panthers simplified everything for him, so he only had to read one or two things on each play. And, well, I was wondering if you might be willing to do that for Devin. Yeah, that's interesting. And, well, I... I know Devin isn't the most open book, but I, I know every play he's ever run. I know which ones he's good at and which ones he ain't. <laughs> you like Detroit-style pizza? Sir? We're gonna need brain food. This could take all night. Let's go. Yes, sir. Yes. I'm impressed. Really? Well, do you think it'll work? Well, it better. We'll see how Devin responds, and then back here tomorrow night to make adjustments. Yes, sir. <laughs> Woo! Here we go. All right, six days till the live game. It's time to change it up. Now, based on Colt's idea, we have a new plan. Yeah, it was the Cam Newton stuff I was telling you about. So we're gonna do some simple reads off defenders. So let's focus, get some good work in. All right, let's start out slow. Instead of reading the entire field like I've been expecting you to do, we're only gonna focus on one side of the field. Now, in this situation, you only have to worry about Colt and the tight end. Ignore every other player on the field. Now, the tight end is gonna be running an out route to the sideline. I'm gonna be running a curl. You only have to make one read on this play. When the tight end runs his route, is he covered by the linebacker? If he is, you throw it to Colt. If he's not, then you throw it to the tight end. Simple, right? That's it? Yep, just one read. All right, let's go.
See? Great read. Okay, now we got a safety back there, and the corner's still covering Cole. Just need to make one read here, D. Now we know the corner's in zone because... He's facing the middle of the field. Good. Now we're going to attack that safety, make him cover one of our receivers. And when he does it, cover should be open, right? You got it. Ready? cornerback on this play. One simple read again. The slot receiver is going to be running a deep corner route to the sideline. If the cornerback covers him, that should leave me open on the curl. If the cornerback covers me, the slot receiver should be open. Make sense? I think so, yeah. That's just another example of a matchup mismatch. We're exposing the truth by forcing one of the defenders to show us who he's covering. And then we make the defense pay for it by throwing it to the guy who's wide open. All off one read. All right, let's take a break. I think we're finally making some great progress. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the media, thank you for being here today. Take a look down. Look at your feet. You see them standing there? Say hi to them, wave to them. Hi, hi feet, how are you? Where are you standing, feet? Ask them that. You're standing on the cusp of history. I have assembled Drago. And in Devon Wade, I found Rocky. Tomorrow night's game will be the football equivalent of World War III. And now, the man of the hour, the star of Longshot, Devin Wade. <laughs> oh, man, I'm so proud of you. You've come this far. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's not make it weird. All right, good. Questions, fire away. Nothing's off limits. Leaving him up there alone is not a great idea. You gotta give them what they want, Julia. Oh, uh, right here. What's this game experience going to prove about Devin Wade? Uh, uh, what I mean is this is basically NFL competition and you haven't played football at any level for what, three years? I have been away for a few years, yeah, but uh, you know, I have a great team behind me, and you know, I couldn't do it on my own. Uh, then let me cut to the chase. Are you ready mentally? I mean, I don't know if you're ever ready until you're in it. Devin, Devin, I covered your career at the University of Texas. You ever call Coach Hauser to apologize? And if you don't excel tomorrow night, all their eyes on you. What's to stop you from hightailing again? Okay, Coach Howler knew it was a difficult time for me. And for tomorrow, I guess, I just want people to know what I'm capable of. What are you capable of? It's a pretty big leap to go from some guy walking down the street and become an NFL quarterback in six weeks. Yeah, I wouldn't just say I'm some guy walking down the street. When your father died, you struggled badly playing Division I. What makes you think you can go to the pro level? I guess I, uh... You have to step in. He's fine. Hey, after you left UT, you went to hiding. A five-star blue-chip quarterback doesn't usually vanish. Where'd you disappear to? Earth to Devon. <laughs> Where'd you go? Sorry, what was that? 
Uh, okay, okay, that's all the time we have for questions. Thank you all for being here. Uh, there will be a meet and greet in the lobby with the NFL legends. Okay, thank you, Julia, and thank you, Devin. Let's get in here uh, real quick. Okay, and don't forget, tell everyone to be sure to tune in tomorrow night when Devin steps in to the Thunderdome.